GG. We did it. <sighs> All right. That's ultraviolet, guys. It's done. One of my hardest demons. Okay. And if you're watching this as my channel trailer, welcome to the channel. Feel free to check out my playlists and my videos. I've got demon playlists organized by difficulty for your convenience. So if you want to look for easy demons to grind, you can go to the extremely easy or insanely easy demons playlists and paw through them and see what you can do. So let's go into this level once again. And talk about it. So almost 4,000 attempts, I had maybe a couple hundred attempts trying it out a long time ago, and by that I mean around when I got this laptop. Um, maybe a little bit of messing around, like 10 attempts from way back in the day, but yeah, it's, it's close to 4,000. Uh, I feel like the stream today has been a pretty uh, reasonable amount of luck in terms of trying to get through Mega Man's part and all that, so... Comparing this, then, to Poltergeist, which is my current hardest demon, um, I would say Poltergeist is still slightly harder than Ultraviolet. However, on 120Hz, Poltergeist is a lot easier, and Ultraviolet doesn't become that much easier. So, it's, it's a flip-flop there, depending on how you want to view it. So, we'll say Poltergeist is still my hardest demon. Ultraviolet is a very close second. Compared to Lemon Skate, um, that's a hard one because I did Lemon Skate a while ago and it's got a very hard ending, whereas this, the ending is not quite as bad. To put it in perspective, there are like three straight fly sections and a lot of other bunk in Lemon Skate, as well as a hard swing copter. So, like comparing it to that, is also a very tricky one. I think Lemon Skate comes out on top. I think it's between this and Poltergeist. So you can kind of get an idea of where everything falls. And you can go to my Hardest Levels That I've Done playlist and see uh, how I've ranked everything. So, uh, having said all that, um, I think this was a lot of fun after I practiced it a lot. And by a lot, I mean... I had like 3,600 attempts of practice in here before it finally started to come together and be fun. Up until then, it was frustrating, extremely frustrating. So, uh, be warned, if you're going to play this, take time to get comfortable with it. And eventually it will become fun, unless of course you don't have enough skill, and then you're just dying at Mega Man's part, and that's like, that's it, I'm rage quitting. Because if I started this a thousand attempts ago, that's where it would have been. The practice really does matter. Uh, you really do need to get consistent at everything else. Um, I just started coming at this with a mentality of, I'm going to practice this and get good at it. It doesn't matter if it takes 10,000 attempts. I'm eventually going to get to the point where uh, there's just going to be a little bit of randomness that kills me and then... I can get it. I, I've got a reasonable shot of doing it, and we got that uh, well before that. Not not even upper bound, but just referenced boundary. And it doesn't take quite as long as you might think. You just have to go at it piece by piece. You know, give it a practice run every day or every other day. You know, whenever. Don't try and practice it all at once. That's crazy. At least that's what's been working for me. That's how I've managed to get through things like Ultrasonic and Poltergeist. Poltergeist, had, I, had, I didn't have much hope anyway, but uh, it worked for this one, and I think I'm going to use that strategy in the future. Just, you know, put it on the burner for a while. So, pretty famous level. Not surprising I don't have a, a record in here. Although it goes pretty recent, that's interesting. 
Looks like I missed the boat a little bit. Okay. And now I actually remember my attempts. Save my game. <laughs> 